What's going on? Kyle here from United Soft Wash. I'm very excited about this video, guys. As you can see, we got a lot of chemicals on the table here, and I want to talk about what the best chemicals are if you're in the pressure washing industry or the soft washing industry. It's one of the most popular questions we get on the YouTube channel is, hey, what chemical do you use for this? What chemical do you use for that? So I wanna break it down today and talk about what the best chemicals are, guys. So rest easy knowing that I'm not getting paid by anybody that has a chemical on this table and I'm not getting free products or anything. So this is a, a completely transparent and honest assessment of what I think the best stuff is. So let's jump right into it. right into it we got a lot of chemicals here so we got a lot to talk about but I wanted to address sodium hypochlorite first before we got started I don't know I don't know what your knowledge base is or how long you've been in the industry but the one chemical you really need to familiarize yourself with is sodium hypochlorite that is the industry standard for all things organic so your black uh, roof stains that you have caused by blowio capsa magma or if you just have mildew on a house or algae that's what you're going to want to go to to get rid of all those organics is sodium hypochlorite so definitely educate yourself on that we have a lot of videos on the channel where we talk about sodium hypochlorite but for some of these specialty situations we got the rest of this stuff all right so that's what we're about to jump into right now so first things first let's talk about f9 efflorescence and calcium remover i can't say enough good things about f9 products guys we have this on the truck as well as some other chemicals by them and I get really great results with this. So when it comes to brick sidewalks or brick patios or maybe you got a brick retaining wall and you start seeing those white marks coming out of it, that's your efflorescence and your calcium guys. So all you need is a pump up sprayer and some of this and you could go to work and it's going to remove those stains for you. So another little nugget for you would be uh, copper stains. So if you do a lot of commercial I do a lot of banks and I see copper all the time and once you get to washing, sometimes that copper will drip down on the concrete and stuff like that and it's a pain to get out. This efflorescence works on copper stains too, so definitely something good to put in your arsenal. Another product by F9, probably their most popular product, is F9 Bark. Alright guys, so I use F9 Bark on a daily basis. So I'm sure that if you're in any of the Facebook groups or forums and stuff like that, or even on YouTube, you've seen people using F9 Bark. So this is a great product when it comes to uh, orange battery acid burns and stuff like that, or rust, this is your go-to chemical. So I can't tell you how many houses we go to where maybe there's a pipe and it's dripping and next thing you know, you got orange all over the side of a vinyl house or you're out there in their driveway and they had a rusty car sitting there for months on end and now there's a big rust stain on the driveway, this is my go-to product for it, guys. So F9 Bark, definitely worth having on your rig. Um, if you don't wanna pay the price of something like this, you can always mix up your acid yourself. I do a lot, I'm starting to do a lot more commercial jobs and bigger jobs, so it's not really cost effective for me to use something like F9 Bark for some of these really big commercial jobs. So I'll mix up my acid myself. So next product I wanna talk about is this oxalic acid by Florida Laboratories. So what we have here is a 10 pound bag of raw oxalic acid, guys. So like I was saying a second ago, sometimes it's great to have that jug of pre-made oxalic acid to the ratio you need. 
but whenever you have bigger jobs, it, sometimes it's more cost effective to go this route. So this isn't a ratio video. I'm not gonna give you instructions on how to do it safely. Do your due diligence, wear uh, PPE, personal protective equipment, and make sure that you're not gonna hurt yourself, but you could always mix up your own acid. That's a 10 pound bag I get on Amazon and it works very, very well, guys. So I do a lot of concrete, a lot of rust removal with this oxalic acid from Florida Laboratories. Just know that you wanna keep this in a dry place. You don't want this getting wet or anything. So keep it in a, I think it's got directions on it, a cool dry place. I keep it here in the shop and it does fine. All right, we got this big boy right here. This NMD80, new masonry detergent by EcoChem. All right guys, so EcoChem has hit the ball out of the park with this NMD80. This is a great product guys, and I recommend it to everybody because in most places, I know here in like Southeastern United States, there is red clay everywhere. So when it comes to your post-construction cleanups, or you're just going out there doing residential jobs and there's red clay, a lot of times rain comes off the roof, hits that red clay in the ground and it just splashes up on the house. You got red clay everywhere, even on the driveway. This is my go-to product, guys. So I'm sure there's other products out there, but I use this one and it works very well. It works a lot better than some other products I've used in the past. NMD80, red clay removal. All right, guys, up next is graffiti removal. Now y'all know I like my graffiti now, but if somebody's calling and they're paying, I'm gonna come to the rescue and I'm coming with this elephant snot right here. So I heard about this product. I heard about how well it works. It's very thick, it lives up to the name thick with two C's and uh, I, I apply it to the graffiti on porous surfaces like bricks or, or cinder blocks or something like that. It's like a paste so I, just, I spread it over it, let it dwell and I come back with moderate pressure and I've had good results with it that way. Heat does help but it's not necessary. You can do graffiti removal with cold water and uh, highly recommend this product, Elephant Snot. Check them out. It's a little bit pricey but uh, graffiti removal pays very well. So. Make sure that you do your due diligence, learn how to price it, that way you're not going out there wasting your time because good money to be made. Next up is, let's see what we got. Let's talk surfactant. All right guys, hands down, my favorite chemical on the truck and the chemical I use the most out of all of these is kamikaze. So if you need a bleach stable surfactant, which everybody should be using a quality surfactant for washing houses, washing roofs, pre and post treating concrete. You need something to add to your sodium hypochlorite. There's a lot of benefits with a quality surfactant. Keeps surfaces wetter longer. It smells amazing, has a really strong wild cherry scent. It's gonna help cover up that bleach smell. It's gonna help stick this cleaning solution, your bleach, to buildings and roofs and help it stick long enough to get that proper dwell time. So this is a chemical we can't do without. We wanted to make a quality product that outperformed every other one in the industry. And we hit this one out the ballpark, guys. So if you need some surfactant, go ahead and check our website out, www.unitedsoftwashnc.com. It's really simple, guys. It goes a long way. 1.5 ounces of this to every gallon of your downstream solution. You could even use that same ratio for using an X-Jet. And if you have a dedicated pump like air diaphragm, 12 volt gas roof pump, booster, um, just mix it up 10 to one guys. It's gonna be a really strong cherry scent. It's gonna be very sticky. You could even mix it up 15 to one and you're still gonna have really good results. So check that out, Kamikaze Industrial Surfactant. All right guys, next up we got Howard's Sun Shield guys. So this is Howard's Sun Shield, wood conditioner and UV protectant. So. I go to a lot of really nice upscale neighborhoods and maybe they have some like wooden furniture on their patio or maybe their front porch, a chair or a table, or let's just say uh, their front stained doors on the house. Maybe they're not looking too good anymore. Maybe that humidity and the summertime weather and the sun just beating down on the door that those doors don't look as good anymore. After you wash the property, you can really wow your customer with something like this by just putting on a quick application, it really brings that shine back out of the wood. You can start seeing those beautiful colors in the wood again with a conditioner like this. So this is one of them little secret weapons I keep on the truck, separates me from my competition. So even if it's something as simple as doing a chair that's on a porch, making it real shiny and nice, your customer is really gonna love that. Definitely gonna increase your odds of getting a Google review. All right, next up we have Cleanse All BC by EcoChem. All right guys, so this is another great product by EcoChem. 
This Cleanse All BC has been an absolute game changer for my company. Something that I noticed in my area was I was seeing all types of oxidized houses. So this is a great chemical for your oxidation removal needs. I'll go in some neighborhoods and I see Zorro marks all through the house where pressure washing company goes in or maybe a homeowner that doesn't know what the hell they're doing and they apply too much pressure to the house. Now you have an oxidized house and now it's got lines all through it. And the customer's like, what do I do to fix it? You could come in and downstream this chemical. Most of the time it only takes two applications. Sometime if you're lucky, just one. The beauty is a product like this, you don't have to brush in most cases. So you could just downstream it once or twice to the house and then come back and rinse and the problem is gonna be solved. All that oxidation is gonna be removed where some of the other chemicals in the industry, they work well, but in a lot of cases, you have to come with a brush and agitate the surface and ain't nobody got time for that. So cleanse all BC, oxidation removal. It also works really well for gutter brightening. So if you do gutter brightening as an add-on, it's an easy way to make uh, to upcharge your customer and get some more money. It makes our house look a lot better too, but this works really well for gutter brightening as well. If you do do gutter brightening and maybe you don't have the means of getting this chemical or it's a little bit too pricey for you, you could use something like this. LA is totally awesome. Very easy to get this product, guys. I think you could go to Dollar General or Walmart or most places like that and find this product for your gutter brightening needs. So it, you do have to brush this on. Uh, I've tried just spraying it on, but it don't work too well. But Dilute it down, brush it, work in small sections. That way you don't accidentally remove the paint off the gutters, but rinse frequently. But this is a, another great product. LA Totally Awesome for gutter brightening. All right, guys, next thing up, we have One Restore by EcoChem. So this is the final EcoChem product we have in our lineup. Works great. It's really like a Swiss army knife when it comes to stain removal and what it does. You could use this product on all types of substrates, wood, block, stone, brick, and no matter what the stain is, if it's like metal oxide or rust or clay, it works on a multitude of stains. So there's stains at commercial jobs that I still don't know what the stain was, and this worked when a lot of other products wouldn't work. So a little bit pricey, but I, I recommend having at least a gallon of it on your wash truck because you're gonna come across some things, especially at commercial sites where a lot of products won't work. This one does in most cases, so check it out. Once again, that's One Restore by EcoChem. All right, we're getting to the end now. We only got a couple more. Dawn Dish Soap. All right, let me grab this camera. So we're not a uh, window cleaning company, but it's situational dependent, guys. You'll, you'll find yourself in a situation one day where you gotta grab that squeegee and get to slinging that squeegee and cleaning some windows. So must have right here, keep some Dawn Dish Soap on the truck. Don't go using this as a surfactant, all right? Don't be a clown. There's some of y'all on YouTube talking about y'all using Dawn dish soap. It, it says it on there, don't mix with bleach. Get yourself a bleach stable surfactant like we done talked about. If you want the best, get some kamikaze. But well worth the couple dollars to have this and invest in a squeegee too. So just buy yourself something like this. Bam, little squeegee right there. We keep about three of those on the truck. All right, guys, last but not least, we have CWB Solutions coming in strong with this gold assassin right here. So if you're one of my OG subscribers, uh, one of my OG followers, you know that like two years ago, I made a video talking about how good this degreaser works and it still holds true, guys. I've wasted a lot of money on degreasers. We do a lot of commercial work like bank drive throughs dumpster pads, done a gas station or two. And I'm gonna tell you this right now, there ain't another degreaser on the market that cuts grease and oil like gold assassin does guys so ships hazmat it's a caustic degreaser check it out the thing i like most about it is i do a lot of residential so i don't really have a need for a burner so with cold water alone and this product i could clean some really really bad oil stains that other products wouldn't even come close to touching so highly recommend if you need a degreaser hit up gold assassin that's the one to get all right, everybody, that's a wrap. I'm Kyle from United Soft Wash. I hope you guys have a great day. I appreciate you watching the whole video. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe and then hit that thumbs up button because it helps my channel grow and then hit the notification bell 
That way, anytime your boy drops a new video, you'll be updated, all right? So I gotta get up out of here, but I hope this video answered some questions. I hope you have a better understanding of what chemicals you may or may not need uh, for different stains and different things like that, guys. I wash every day and I know what works and what doesn't work. And there's a reason why these chemicals made my lineup, guys. So I will talk to you later. I'm about to grab some tacos with the wife and uh, enjoy my weekend. So take care. Peace.